Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Andy Elliott 1% Podcast. This is a special treat. I got Tommy Mello today. He's the owner of A1 Garage Doors, the largest garage door company in the world. Now, why would you want to pay attention right now? Well, number one, because Tommy's built one of the biggest businesses in the world. Number two, he makes a shit ton of money. He's going to tell you how you can do it. And number three, this is a channel that brings nothing but value on how you can grow your life, change your life, and crush it and kill it. And if you pay attention during this podcast, dude, you're going to get more valuable information than you know what to do with. And if you're looking to crush it and kill it in the next couple of years, well, you might learn the secret right now. So check it out. All right, guys, so it's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with my man, Tommy Mello. Now, I love Tommy. Tommy right now is killing the game. He's been killing it for a while, but he's on fire. The guy's consistent. He does what he says he's going to do. He's, he goes against the grain. And I'm going to say this, like, he, I, I like to call him a rule breaker. And I don't mean by like, breaking the law, breaking, breaking, the, like, breaking the rules like that, but like by breaking the rules, by doing stuff differently than everyone else. And that's how he's getting different results than everyone else. How many companies do you know right now that are like doing this or that do this, but they're not doing this? Think about how many salespeople that just aren't doing this. How many companies aren't doing this? My company is doing this. So I'm always looking around like who's doing that. And I just don't see a lot of it, but this dude is doing that. And I love that. So I was like, dude, Tommy, we got to get together. Number one, we're brothers. Like, like we always talk about the same stuff. We support each other. I'm always like, yeah, if you want to know how to kill it and crush it in business, go see Tommy. Tommy's like, go see Andy. But then we're like, dude, we need to get together and do something really, really cool. And that's what, that's what this is about life. Is all about getting in proximity of people that can make you better, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Whether it's you going and joining a company that's going to push you to another level, whether it's you just putting a new friend in your life, that this next year that person's going to hold you accountable, not let you be weak, and call you out for like crap that you do that's like, dude, you're better than that. Come on. And, uh, and that's how me and Tommy have been. But now we've started doing some business together. And this is an opportunity where if you're paying attention and you're looking for your way out in life, Tommy, I want you to tell us a little bit about A1. Um, I know I'm going to shut up because I'll talk forever. No, it's um, great. But, but I want Tommy to tell us a little bit about what is A1. Um, number one, why is it killing the game? What's going on inside the company? And then, you know, we, we get 150 million views every 28 days. Um, on social media, there's a lot of people that every single day they're looking for their way out. They're looking for an opportunity. Dude, if I lived in Florida and my opportunity was in Scottsdale, Arizona, which I know you're in a lot of different states, I'd pack my shit right now and I would move. If I could get next to somebody that'd be like, dude, come on, you want to grow? You want another, you want to, you want a badass opportunity? All right, here we go. Um, so people, they don't know where to find these opportunities, right? Yeah. And I know the opportunity exists with A1, so let's just talk about what is A1, Tommy. Introduce yourself, yeah. um, and uh, and let, let's start kicking ass. Let's go. So A1 Garage Door started in 2007, and now we have 800 employees. We passed 200 million this year. Things are going really good, but it's all about the people. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. It's all about the people. Before you go into that, tell me how you lead, because I want to know that. Because anybody watching this, look, this isn't a job. No. This is your life. You love your people and you say it's all about, but tell me how you lead your people. You know, showing up is half the battle. I got a lot of employees, which I call my coworkers. They've come up to me and they're like, dude, they're like, you're always here. You're here on the weekends. You're here at night. You, you travel to different markets. You're with your guys. And I'm like, dude, I think that's one of the main things is like a lot of people that I've worked with, they come up to me and they're like, we worked at a last company. We were doing 10 million. We never saw the owner. He never showed up. And I'm like, first thing is you got to be present. You got to mm -hmm. be there. Number two is, listen, my job is to motivate them, push them further than they want to be pushed. And that's that's the deal is, like, give them a path. So we work on their dreams. Like, what is – if you don't have your dreams written down and your goals and your wife doesn't know about it, your kids don't know about it, your parents don't know about it, what's the point? So writing down your goals, and then we basically just – we reverse engineer how they could do that. Because no one really loves going to work, but if you can make the work an opportunity to obtain all your dreams, then it's all worth it. Yeah. So have, have, like, basically your people have a big future to look forward with you. So well, they, listen, we're growing like, it, you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy about my team. And the deal is we generate, we, we run 18,000 jobs a month and everybody's like, well, how do I go get jobs? 
the phone rings with a broken garage door. We go fix it. So we do train a little bit on sales, but we train technical, operational sales. And everybody hates the word sales, but listen, in life, you, you know, you met a beautiful wife, Jackie. Mm -hmm. you, you had to sell her on you. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't understand is like the best salesperson I know, Impact Church, the preacher. He gets you to give 10% tithing every single Sunday. And like sales feel, is and all you, around And you us. feel good about it because it feels good to give. It feels great to give. and it, but, but you go to the best salesman at, at the church, it's the preacher. Right. Always. Sales is all around us. And I, I hate the people that go, I hate sales. Sales is inevitable to sell as human. Right. Mm -hmm. To help people so help themselves. It's helping people. And they've got a broken garage. We're there to offer them a, a permanent solution. We give options because if you're not mm -hmm. giving options, you're giving ultimatums. Mm -hmm. So now we talk about getting in shape, becoming a better father, becoming a better husband, staying faithful. We talk about setting big enough goals that are like hard to achieve, but you can achieve them. Like if you can't make. People always think there's no way this is possible. But if you don't make six figures your first year at A1 Garage or Service, there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. You've got all the support. You've got more jobs than you can handle. You get a brand new truck. We give you $4,500 worth of tools. We pay for the tools. We pay for the training. We pay for the mentorship. And my goal is just to get the best people that want more. People are always like, so we interviewed my top 20 guys. And they said, we thought it was fake. We thought this can't even be real. Like, it, it just seems too good to be true. And then they started, and they're like, when we we met Tommy, we knew he's going for a ride. Like, dude, right and, and we knew – one of the guys said, Tommy's making waves, and everybody wants to go surfing. And so these guys came on, and uh, we, we interviewed them in the last two weeks. And what they said was, we're entrepreneurs, but we don't want to answer phones. We don't want to pay taxes and do all that crap that an entrepreneur needs to do. We want to just go out and do what we do best. We go out, we show up to the customer, we make them happy, we get a five-star review – we better our best every day. But that's what they are. They're entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And they want more out of life. And you get all the benefits. You get the PTO. You, you know, we've got a pinnacle trip mm -hmm. that we've got like 20 guys going on. They're, they're getting equity in the company. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets an opportunity to get equity in the company, which is very rare. Yeah. When you said everybody, that's what's crazy because there's a lot of people that are looking for their way out, right? And, and I'm going to tell you this. What I mean by that is... I'm okay with life or I don't like where I'm at, but I won't, I'm looking for my opportunity and they don't know who or where number one, this is who. Okay. And number two, where, like, where do they go? If somebody wants to work for a one, I know it's early on, but if somebody wants to apply, right. Um, and I want to do this, but there, there's going to be a link below. We're going to put it in yeah, the description we'll, box. We'll go to work for a one.com work. The number four, a one.com forward slash Andy. Yeah, and by the way, I'm going to put a link below in the description box. I'll, I'll take what you just put. I'll put that in the description box. You guys click on that link, okay? And then when you click on it, it's very, very simple, okay? Uh, you're probably going to fill out some information, maybe even upload a video or something like that where people can get a chance, where you can get a chance to meet them. They'll reach out to you, abracadabra. But click on the link below. So as Tommy talks, if you're like, dude, okay, I'm looking for my way out. Like, you know what to do. You just have to take action. And I'm going to tell you this, um, Tommy, as you, before you can uh, move on, there's a lot of ignorant people in this world, and I'm not being disrespectful. There's a lot of people that can change their life. There's a lot of people that can have a new life. There's a lot of people that all these stories that you're telling, they could be the ones that you're telling the story about. 100%. Those are my brothers. Those are who I want to meet. Yeah, yeah. And that's why if you're watching this, male or female, you're watching this, I don't care who you are, and you're like, dude, okay, this that's me. Like, I want that life. Like, it's ignorant not to take action, okay? Like, I just wanted to say that because I see a lot of people and they're not getting... Like, I built a badass life in three years just by taking action. Well, they're all waiting for their chance, even though sometimes it's right in front of them. Yeah. Like, you, literally, but, like, they're so close. But people are ignorant because they don't take action. They yeah. sit in the same shit and they're like, God, I wish I could just get a chance. You're like, dude! This is it. Fuck! Get your hand, click on the link, fill the information out. Somebody reaches out to you and you're like, oh, damn. So anyways, I love you guys. I just want to tell some of you that have been waiting for your best life. I brought Tommy Mello that is the owner of A1 Garage Doors on here so that you guys could could change your life. So so let's keep rolling. Okay. Yeah, well, listen. So I know what kind of leader you are. You love watching people become, to get it all. You love them getting it all, right? Well, you know, I've had guys leave. And then they come back after six months and they're like, I had no idea. Like another company offered me this, that, and the other, but it was all fake. Like they didn't show up like they were supposed to. And, and the, the grass is always greener till you go on the other side and then you're mm -hmm. like, I didn't have it. But everybody comes back. Like people are like, aren't you afraid of people leaving? No, 
Ne- never, because here's the deal. We got a morning mojo call. First 15 minutes of every morning is to like get in the right headspace. Mm-hmm. We've got a Thursday meeting where you know all the numbers. You know what the company makes. You know what you make. You get the leaderboard. Like we're very transparent. And like the biggest thing I think it makes a real badass like winner at the company is their wife knows their goals. Like mm. everyone knows what they're doing. And they set these goals down. They don't know what they're going to do this year. They know what they're going to do this week and today. Like a lot of people are like, yeah, if I just do this first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, we plan all the way down to like, what are your smart goals? What are your dreams? Where do you want to go? What what houses do you want to buy? What color is the house? What is what does the kitchen look like? Let's really manifest everything that you want. Because I think you could have it all. You could get PTO. You could come to Pinnacle Club. You could go, uh, we give insurance. We give a brand new vehicle. We give the gas cards. Like, and people are like, this is no way this is real. Like, I've got at least 50 guys next year that'll make 250 grand. Easy. Right, and I'm not talking about the top top guys. I'm talking about a great technician, and, and these are my brothers, man. Like literally, they know I would do anything for them, and the fact that I show up—that's everything. Like people are like, "Are you really this guy?" And I'm like, "You could call any of my technicians. You could call any of my CSRs, any of my dispatchers. Like, you gotta have, you gotta have a give a shit, right? Like most owners just don't care." Yeah, tell me. So, like, if I wanted to work for you, right? What would I? What would you tell me I would need to to know? What would I need to have? And by the way, you you hire and you start out most people in a technician position, right? Which is basic. Is that is that what it's called? Technician, technician? installer, maintenance techs, the, or the virtual product but, specialist. There's but three or four roles. What do you have to? What do your skills need to be to qualify for this? Listen, if you love telling stories, you make eye contact, you like to win, you go give a good handshake. Like, look, for me, it's all about the personal skills. Like, if you're good at talking to people and you care, you take pride in what you do. You, like, take pride in the way, like, you look. You look in the mirror and you say, I'm worth more than this. Then you're my person. You don't have to have any skills. It's not like HVAC school where you got to pay 50 grand to come here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll pay you to train. We'll pay you. We fly you and you you train for one month in your market. Then you come to Phoenix for three weeks. And the pay is great. But when you get out in the field, it's all performance pay. So we don't like warranty calls. We like to fix it right the first time. We obviously care. There's certain things we do care about. Are you making the customer happy? What is your star rating on Yelp and Google? Like, are this you... is common sense stuff. It is like, common sense. Yeah, like 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 we just we, you're coming in and everybody in your company, like you said, they give a fuck. Yeah. Right. They truly care. They go in, and when you say go into the field, this is going to meet with clients. Okay. Yeah. Someone calls up. They got a broken door. Something's not working right. They may, maybe somebody sets an estimate. appointment. They go out. Very they, simple. They just show up. There's no. How do I generate leads? Hey. It's very simple. They, they go, they, they, their they schedule is full every day with people with broken garage doors. We do a great job marketing. Yeah, and you say hi. You literally give them some options, what they can do with their garage door. You get paid. You get paid. And Son of a bitch. It, it's hey, but you but you call that a technician though, right? So, yeah. so somebody doesn't have to be mechanically inclined. My top guy. Couldn't change the oil on his car. Yeah, so when you say technicians, I'm not fixing their garage door. I'm just going out meeting somebody, well, you, you, someone you else. You do a little there. bit. So the way it works is you're not going to be installing doors. You could apply for an installer, but you're going to learn. You, you fix the door. My guys didn't know how to use a wrench. And it doesn't make sense. If you sell a door, you don't have to install it, but you'll do the, you'll do like the springs, rollers, cables, bearings. Yeah, simple stuff, stuff, which simple you Simple stuff, which we train on. So we train technical and then you'll learn our CRM, which is service type, very simple to use. Mm-hmm. You will not fail. You come here with a great attitude, with the right mindset, and you want to win. I mean, listen, end of the day, you want to become a millionaire. You can do it in under five years here. You can have equity in the company, which will that'll make you more millions. You're almost like your own boss. You just got to show up to the meetings and get enthusiastic. You, you got to care for the people you go. We're servers. We're serving clients. Mm-hmm. But I've got an internal client, too, which are my people. Right, my technicians, my installers, my CSRs. I like that. I got to show up for them. They're my internal people, like they're my clients. And if they're not happy, if they don't have the right mindset, we're not going to win. Yeah. So I want to say something. Like, think about this, right? Like, everybody, what does your boss look like? Does your boss talk like this? By the way, I'm going to ask you another question. What about the owner? Because there's difference when there's a boss. Because you're the owner, which means that the leaders that are below you are the, the leaders that are your leaders that lead the teams. Yep. They probably run the same way you run, and they believe the same way you believe, and that's why they're in charge. Am I right? They want they want people to win. Like the way that we set this company up is, I get happy when you make a lot of money. Do you know how many owners I meet that are like my sales guys are making too much money? I hate that, dude. It's that's like so we crazy. worked out this out that. We're all going to win. That's why I wrote the book Elevate. Build a business where everybody wins. The vendors are winning. The clients are winning. My people are winning big time. 
And if they're not winning, then I'm failing. Can you get that book on Amazon? Yeah, you can get the book. Yeah, Elevate. guys. Yeah, Tommy wrote a book called Elevate. It's a badass book. Number one, I'd highly recommend ordering it right now on Amazon. Get the book to your front door. It's on Audible, too. I, I narrated it myself. Yeah, listen, guys. I, I get really, really excited because at the end of the day, like a lot of people talk to me. They're like, it can't, this sounds too good to be true. It sounds like a Ponzi scheme or something. Like nobody can make that kind of money their first year. And I promise you, I can give you testimony after testimonial of my technicians and the people I get to work with. And you could learn, this is the real deal. We're in 22 states. We're in 35 markets. So it's not like you don't have options. It's not like you have to work in Phoenix or Tucson or Prescott or Sedona. You could go to, we're, we're going into Tampa. We're going into Atlanta. We're going into Chicago. We're in Minnesota. We're in Detroit. We're in Milwaukee. We're in Vegas. We're all yeah, over. We're and, in Denver. And, we're, and, and we're you're in moving so fast that literally somebody could join the company. And they could be the boss it, within a year. And they could be in any market they want to be they in. They could go to any market. Literally, we've got market managers that started out as techs. Six months later, they're a market manager. Mm. Virtual product specialists, we got 18 of them. They get to work with at home now. Like mm -hmm. they're set up with three monitors. And this is so you get in the door, and if you love sales and you just love talking to clients, you'll become a virtual product specialist, work from home. Here's what I love. There's an elevator straight to the top at this company because we're growing so fast. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for leaders, and I don't want people that want a job. I want people that want a career, that want to grow. I've got so many people that tell me, I'm never leaving, dude. I'm going to retire here. Mm -hmm. Just get ready because you're dealing with me for the next 30 or 40 years. Guys, do me a favor. If you're watching this right now, comment below. Number one, Tommy's a badass. He's a straight badass. You know, what I love is whenever I hear someone speak, when I hear someone's talk, I obviously look at their eyes. I see their passion. I see their intensity. How old are you? I just turned 40. Yeah, he's 40 years old. You know what You know what that means? You probably did. You, you said you started A1 in 2007. Yeah. You've done it wrong. Were you, you, I, did dude, you start with a lot of money and you were just blessed? And your no, dad I was in the field. I was in the field for the first seven years. I was doing the same job that I'm asking these guys to come in and do. And literally, you talk about mistakes, man. People were stealing toilet paper. I've had cars get totaled. I mean, I've had people steal from me. That You know, I had my mom walk out one time answering phones. She worked with me. I had my stepdad work with me. I had my sister work with me. I started it, and it takes hard work. It takes discipline. It takes consistency. It took you time show to up. figure this out. It took a lot of time. And listen, it, the people are like, man, it, it, look at your life. It's so great. It took hard work. But here's the thing. The training we give is never ending. Mm -hmm. You want training? If Andy worked with me and he said, hey, dude, I want to come back to Phoenix for two weeks and train with these three techs, and I want to, we, we want to polish ourselves, get ourselves to that next level. Literally, Andy, you're going to get paid. I'm paying for the ticket. You're coming back to Phoenix. We're going to go to dinner. We are going to get you set up for success because you want more. And that's the deal. My top, top, top guys, they ne they're never done training. They're like, let, let me come back to Phoenix. Let me get a ride along with this guy. And here's the greatest thing. There's so much transparency. You can see who's the best at this. Who's the best at this? There's a scorecard. I love you that. log into your app. You see where you're at for the day. You see where you're at for the month, the year. You could look at anybody else's scorecard so you can know who to call for what. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. That's what it's about. People are like, th there's this term that gets thrown around brotherhood. It's the real deal. Like these guys hang out. They go to the desert. You know, I just got a K&M. I'm going to go out with them to the mm -hmm. desert. Like these guys have become best friends. And here's the deal. We include the wives. We include the kids. Like get everybody. And it's it's not too good to be true. It's real. Like yeah. just, just apply. Talk to any of our technicians. Talk to anybody that works at A1. And... If you're not blown away, if you don't think, do a ride along. At least see if it's something that you want to do. Well, I, w what I've learned is a lot of people are afraid of change. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, because, you know, it's like, it's because I'm just giving you an example. When I was 18 years old, you know, I'm 44 now, but when I was 18, you know, selling cars wasn't like, oh, my God, I want to be a car salesman when I grow up. But when I started selling cars, by the time I was 20, I was making a half a million a year. Yeah. You know, I remember that that wasn't what I planned on doing. You know what I mean? But at that time, like, dude, that was my way out. It was amazing. I didn't have culture like this. I didn't have a leader like you. I didn't have those things. But, man, it's like you don't ever know what your best life, like wh where that is or what that entails. Here's what it is. I love you. You said it's about the people. It's about finding the right people to do life with and then the right opportunity existing with those people. And <laughs> listen, you could have opened a furniture company. Yeah. 
and your people would have kicked ass selling furniture, and but it would have been totally cool. It's not the cool. garage door company. Exactly. I want to say that because people, they hear, and they're like, well, I, man, I, you know, garage doors isn't what I want to do. Stop. Do listen to me. They do garage doors, right? And they serve as clients and they take good care of them. And there's a big need in the world for people, right? They spend a lot of money on homes to make sure they got good quality garage doors and that their stuff's operating properly. You found a great profit niche. You've learned a way to do it very right and to take good care of people. So you and these people all do life together. You love it. Hey, you guys love doing garage doors, but you know it wasn't like you're like, man, I'm just obsessed with garages. I mean, I became obsessed over time. You think about it. It's the largest, most dangerous moving object on your home. It's 40% of your curb appeal. We trademarked it's a smile of your home. It's the number one ROI, more than your kitchens or bathrooms. Remodel Magazine, seven years in a row. Like, garage doors are pretty cool because everyone's got one. And we just do a great job of marketing. But everybody's like, man, what do I got to do? How do I generate leads? You don't have to. You're not door knocking. You're not going to home to home to home, try to figure out, build your own demand. Like, people are calling us up saying, my garage door is not working. Come out and fix it. And I want it fixed right. This is our forever home. Right. You, taking care of people that are asking you, that are reaching out and requesting information for help, yeah, is truly not even sales. I mean, honestly, like you said, if you can look at people in the eye, shake their hand, and smile, if and you can be I nice think about to people. Like our top technician, he was over at my house on Christmas. He brought his mom over, and the deal is like that's what I like to do. We have Thanksgiving dinners. We do a lot with our people, and his mom was there and this dude is just cracking me up he's smiling he's telling great stories he picked up my can am yesterday brought it to go get speakers put on it he's like dude let me just do that for you i will go above and beyond because that's what we do for each other and now yeah. we have a purpose like literally like everybody's working out like you, you you've been speaking to us a lot mm -hmm. and now people are like man i want to get my personal life together i want to be that father i never was and maybe i never had mm -hmm. and so they're showing up in a bigger way like justin one of my great guys He's like, dude, my wife is so happy I'm at A1. Like, I, he's got three kids. They mm -hmm. just bought a house. Do you know how many homeowners we have? Like, I don't want you to have a house. I want you to have 10 houses. Mm -hmm. I, want you, I don't want you to go to Disney World. I want you to go first class. Cut all the lines. I want you to be able to take your dad on a fishing trip for two months. I don't, like, whatever you want, write it down. I promise you, I'm going to help you get those goals. I'm going to make sure that if your head's, if you're really into it, then we're going to do it. Like, that's the deal for me. You want to know, I don't have to work anymore. I could be done forever. Almost, this is, I like watching people win so much. I almost wish before I started my business in 2019, I would have watched this podcast. Well, then I'd have been at A1 kicking everybody's yeah, ass. You, you would. Know? Yeah, but, but the deal is, is that I know a lot of people that are watching this that like have been waiting for their way out. And they've given, I'm going to say this, they've given all their hard work. They've given lots of energy, lots of emotion to the wrong people. And think about it. And they get burned. It. They get lied to. I mean, we got guys from Best Buy. We got them from Amazon. Yeah. Like, you name it. Like, so I get busboys, dude. I get busboys from restaurants. Yeah. Like, if they're smiling, filling up my water, they shake my hand, they're telling me a funny story. Dude, that like, person. Like, I'm, I'm recruiting. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think that that's super cool. So, guys. Uh, as you're watching Tommy, number one, I mean, seeing his standards, what he believes in, his own personal self-development. Every time he sees something that's good, he's like, oh, hey, I'm going to add that too. It's like life is limitless. And I think that's the way you see it is that you love life. You love people. You love your people. You're on the front line with your people. Oh, yeah. you're, you're not too good. I love that you're not too good. One of the, my favorite things about Tommy is that he literally is just him. He's not the owner. He's not too good for anybody. And I see all these owners, man, they carry this this aura about themselves in most cases that they're better than others. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, they, they think they are. Yeah, like, like, but I'm just being honest. You literally, like, you are them and they are you. And you understand that you're after your best life. And also you understand that your people that are with you, they matter. And that they're the lifeline of the entire company. So your goal is they keep their word to you. You'll keep your word to them. Maybe they've given, a lot of people have given, like I said, the, the, the energy. And they gave all their hard work to the wrong person. Yeah. They got burned. And look, number one, if you get your heart broke, what do you do? Stop loving? No, dude, if your car runs out of gas, you put more gas in it. So here's what you do. You find someone in life who that is the right person, the right company that you could give it all to. And had you given all that right stuff to Tommy Mello and A1 Garage Doors, boom, your life would be totally different right now. But that didn't happen. It didn't work out that way. But it can work that way. You know, it's like we're in the era right now where literally, Tommy, right here on social media, you can tell people what you want. Oh, you can yeah. tell them what you want. And, and, and people can decide whatever they're looking for. If they find a person that knows what they want, you guys can connect. And boom, you can blow shit up together. 
So, Tommy, you're looking for how many people do you need in your company? I mean, Q1, we're looking for 50 amazing opportunities. So, so 50 people right now. To be technicians. Yeah. That, that literally, if, if you don't make six figures, then I failed. I failed you. So, you're looking for 50 people right now to literally click on the link in the description box below. Choose to do life with someone like you who you'll train them. You'll teach them. You'll we'll take give care them the of truck, it. the tools. Like, look us up on Indeed. Look us up on Glassdoor. They're not all perfect, but for the most part, if you see any one stars, those guys didn't have what it takes. You know, they're yeah. losers. I'm yeah. sorry. They just don't believe in themselves. But overall, the people that are winning, they're like, they're never going to go anywhere because they're enjoying the journey, too. Like, look, you can make a lot of money, but you got to enjoy every day. Like, you're working on yourself. You're getting better. Like, these skills are lifelong skills. Yeah, I love your company's attitude. Just being on the calls with people, like I, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul. Like you can see in their eyes yeah. and you can tell they're so happy to be there. By the way, I've been in his facility, freaking crazy. Like your A1 garage door facility. Yeah. Right? Like it's the biggest training center I've ever seen in my life. We train different scenarios. We train. Like, like how many garage doors are there's there? There's like 25 in there, but here's the deal. There's a Harley Davidson in there. Why is there a Harley in there? Because you experience Harleys. Like, have you ever been to Sturgis? You ever been to South Dakota? Did you no. go see Mount Rushmore? But if you own a Harley, I want you to be able to have a conversation if you enjoy Harleys, right? Yeah. There's sleds in there. There's different things. Get to know people. Get to find out what their life's about. Like, I enjoy. I sat next to a World War II vet in 2010 for four hours listening to his stories. He was crying. You know, that changed my life. I got to listen to him and mm -hmm. learn about him yeah. and learn about this country and what he fought for. Yeah. And, like, that's what we get to do. We get to go meet people. And then they give me hugs. Like, yeah. literally, I say, listen, my mom is 70 years old. My mom worked her butt off. She worked three jobs to keep our house in Michigan, which was a small house. It was 1,200 square feet. I go, listen, if you were my mother, here's what I'd be telling you to do right now. And it's not always the most expensive. It's what's right for that particular client, right? Mm -hmm. And they give me a hug afterwards. They say, thank you so much. I've never had this kind of customer service. You know, a lot of the technicians, they say, are you the best thing that could ever happen in an experience is how many of my technicians get asked if they're the owner? Because they mm -hmm. take so much pride in what they do. Jeez. Are you the owner of this company? And like, you know, I got a character on the side of the van. Yeah. It's not, it's me, but it's like, a, so, so they always say, is that you on the side of the truck? I don't care if the person's bald. Like, like literally, but that's so much pride. It's thinking you're, you're in the garage and they say, are you the owner? Because I've never seen somebody care this much. We offer coffee on the way. Like we smile when we show up. We enjoy this. You're so different, man. And then here's the deal. The client's. They they really love us. Like they tell their neighbors about us, and like they want to they want to help us in any way. I mean, we we do charity. We do shop with a cop. We we uh, feed the hungry children. We painted the YMCA. Like we are giving back to the community, and that might not mean a lot to you. It does make a difference, and that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. I like to experience that and give a little bit. Like when you realize how much you can get back. Zig Ziglar said you could have anything you want in life if you just just help enough people get what they want. Mm -hmm. Our top people. Their phones are always on taking phone calls from all the techs across the country, trying to coach them up, get them better. How many people do you know that are top producers that are trying to make other people top producers? They don't care. They're like, no, if this guy's at the top, but all my guys love to be at the top. And just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean I don't. That's what nobody understands. Yeah. Like we all work together. The company's growing. There's more opportunities. And But you've set the standard for that, though. I mean, because those people, the reason why they don't do it for other people is because it's not taught to them. And I think that you're a teacher. Like, Tommy, you're a sales trainer. You're a teacher. You're a motivator. You're an influencer. You're a teacher. Like, at the end of the day, you're a teacher. So you own your business. You're making a lot of money. But you continually teach everybody every day in your company. So everybody else loves the way that you pour into them. So literally, they want to do what you did for them, which is teach everyone else. So you have a company that reciprocity is just flowing oh, everywhere. Yeah. And everybody's just giving, 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 giving. And it makes people just want to give more, 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 more. And then no matter what you do, whether you're the janitor in the company or whether you're the owner, it's like the culture is insane. By the way, that's one of the reasons why I think A1 is not only from the technology to the facilities to the way you train, the way you care, but you, the culture that you have built, why it's doing so amazing and you're growing so fast is because no matter what economy or no matter what market is changing out there or money or presidential elections or whatever – your company's insulated by a culture that doesn't exist in any other company. Well, think about it. I mean, I, I, I know a lot of home service companies. I talk to, on a regular basis, weekly, at least 25 companies. I'm in a group with seven other massive home service companies. We're the, and this isn't to toot our, you know, A1's own horn. No, no, what we're doing is we're sharing 
what you're doing with the world because I would like a lot of people to understand what's possible. We we crushed 2023. 2024 is going we're going to make 2024 total into, annihilation. It, it, it's I don't want to win. I want to crush. Like I enjoy my competitors. I invite them into our shop. They get to see what we're doing. You know, a lot of them we partnered up. Like a mm -hmm. lot of them said, "Hey Tommy, would you consider partnering with us?" And they roll equity into us. Like the deal is is like I want everybody to win, even my competition. But listen, yeah. if you're not with us, um, we gotta smash that ass. Listen, you hey, know, I always say winners beat losers, but legends beat winners. And your company is becoming like a legend in the space and in the home service space. No matter what industry, HVAC, plumbing, whatever, in the home service place. Yeah, well, listen, you everybody stick with me knows. for five years. Five years, your whole life will be taken care of. Because uh -huh. you're going to learn financial discipline. You're going to learn how to personally budget your all, all your all your money. You're going to learn about home ownership, and it's all right there. All you got to do is take it. Like I know all like I got this 22 year old in Tucson. His name's Robert. Crushing it. Paid 60 percent down on his house. Getting ready to buy a second home. 22 years old. Now listen. He's getting ready to be a dad. What What did Robert do before you hired him? Uh, he was just a curious. bus boy. Hey. And, and just think about that. He was making 40 grand a year max with tips. But just think about that, though, man. That's crazy, man. That's why the United States is, I mean, if you're in the States, like this is the greatest place to work. If you live in the United States and you're not on the way to becoming a millionaire, it's because you don't want to. Yeah, well, like, you don't you don't have consistency. Like you expect, but th these kids. But but you just everybody. don't want to though. Like, well, they they want to be influencers. They want to like do arbitrage on Amazon. It's like, listen, that stuff could be great, and you could go start a TikTok channel and stuff. But if you just want, I'll tell you this: it's not easy yeah. to own your own business, man. You fall down a lot. Like it's not for the faint at heart. Punched in the mouth every day. You don't have any money to start with, and you've never had a business. You're looking at ten years if you're lucky. To actually get it. You got, you did great. Like what you've done in three years is very, very, you're the 1% of the 1%. But I just, I'm in an era right now where I literally was looking for a guy like you to work for, but that culture didn't exist. Yeah. So if you can't find it, you build it and you go through hell. But I want to tell you though, that I would have gladly taken that road because truly at the end of the day, all the stress and all the things that we go through, like I think a lot of owners don't want to go through that. They just want to truly find someone because you that has it already because that's way easier on your family. That's way easier on your bank account. That's way easier on your health. That's way easier on a lot of different things. That's why that culture is so important. It is. Like, it's like, everything. Like this, it's not get a job and then die. It's, it's go find people that make you feel alive, that make your life better. Um, dude, and then master a craft and get really good at it. And dude, get rich. Like you said, become a great parent, you know, have an awesome marriage, get close to God, you know, get in physically great shape. Um, love your life. Don't get burned out. Create more purpose every day. Live adventurous. Dude, that's fucking a one. It's a, I love it because literally like the, the, we, we all jumped out of a plane six months ago, right? Like 15 of us just decided to go out jump out of a plane like this the shit that we're doing it's just like i'm enjoying the ride You're calling your own shots a lot of people are like i want this destination of being a multi-millionaire let me tell you what if you don't enjoy the ride it's not even worth it man no it's not worth it at all like let, yeah write that down ride, write that down like dude if you're not enjoying your ride right now your life it's not even worth it w what are we looking for 50 people I, I know that sounds crazy we get 150 million views what 50 people will reach out to you, get a brand new life, and literally all they have to do is be hungry, want to change, be humble, ha have a, a humble, have a great perspective, and want to be a winner. You got to be hungry. Andy said it. Like, literally, you want to win so bad. The winners that do great, they, they played sports, mm -hmm. or they were a farmer. They were used to getting up early. They made sacrifices. Like, they want more. They listen to Andy's podcast. They read his books. Everybody's dying to come to your events. Like, they're like, we need more Andy. You said something that was really important that every guy's been repeating. A Andy said to us, he did, a, 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 we call it bring the fire. We had every employee on this call. He's like, you got to be where your feet are, man. When you're at home, be with your family. Don't watch TV. Like, be there at your meals. Be there on a Sunday. Spend time. Turn your phone off. It's disrespectful. Turn your phone off. And I'm telling you, people's lives are changing. I want to bring Andy in. I want to bring every great person in that we can. Yeah, you're all about resources. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rich people are resourceful. Poor people aren't. You, I mean, I'm just saying, we all have access to the same resources, but you'll see something that's good for you and you'll grab onto it. Yeah, you I'll see it. something that's good for me and I'm like, hey, dude, we're going to dinner. Like, I need to know more. I love doing business with people that, that 
have that fire. I love that. I hate, live, and I just always say, live the same life 75 times and then call it a life. That's what a lot of people are doing right now. They're living the same life 75 times and they're gonna call it a life. I was reading about the founding fathers going back into like the 1800s. Yeah. And, and so the, in the 1800s, the average human life expectancy, look this shit up when we're done, was 40 years old. In the 1800s, bro, this is 200 years ago. Yeah. Average life expectancy was 40 years old. That means me and you are done. Yeah, that's crazy. Watch this. The founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson, the leaders, the presidents, yeah, Benjamin but Benjamin Franklin, that had the uh, that had the vision for a greater future. They lived in the 1800s to be 85. They doubled the life expectancy because they had something to look forward to. So imagine this: the average male and female lives between 72 and 78 years old now. Mm. That would be like me and you living to 150 right now. Oh yeah. Could you imagine that? Well, I'm gonna tell you how it's done. The present is prison. Now I'm gonna explain what I mean. A lot of people are stuck in their place. They don't have anything to look forward to. They don't have a better relationship with their marriage. They don't have a better parenting experience. They can't get in better shape. They don't have a great boss, owner, mentor. They don't have great opportunity, chance to own part of the company, chance to make more money. They don't have these things, so there's nothing to look forward to. So they die and they decay. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why right now, why I would highly recommend, and I'm going to end this. If you've made it to this part in the video, you're, true, you're the true 1%. If you want to have something to look forward to, if you want to build a badass future, Tommy, I think that that's what you're saying is that you're looking for those that are hungry, that want more, that want to be loyal, that want to be trusted, that are people that you know motivate you, that you want to be around, that inspire you, and they can all be underdogs. They can be the bus boy. I mean, think about it. You're on the podcast talking about a 22-year-old bus boy. That means you clearly do not care who anybody is. You care about who they want to become and if they want to become something you guys go and you click the, uh, the link in the description box below fill out the information get introduced to a1 garage doors get introduced to tommy you'll meet the man himself and literally do everything will change in your life so a lot of people stay ignorant they don't change they don't I do promise anything. you everything will change i will bleed for you you stay loyal you'll see what we could do together i promise you i will not disappoint you apply, if you want more out of life than you ever thought possible, You will, I do every orientation myself, Andy's involved, you guys are gonna learn more, we read together, we bleed together, we do things together, and you'll see, like, I will not let you down. I, I won't. You won't. Yeah, you're a savage, bro. But guys, I love you, man. Today, I want to introduce Tommy Mello to uh, to my audience, just to let you guys know who he is. Isn't it cool to see what he's built? Isn't it cool that when he's built it, he's not like hogging it all for himself and go, ah, look at my castle. No, he's like, dude, let's build all these guys' castles. Let's do that shit. Who, who wants to build you a castle? Nobody. Okay, so if you've been waiting for your way out, if you've been looking for a change, if you've been making a lot of false promises to your family that your current job's going to change one day and all this shit's going to happen and it's not, why don't we make sure that you take action now? Click the link in the description box. Take action. Okay, don't stay the same. Make a change. Tommy just said, hey, I'll bleed for you. Like, come on, dude. Like, are you serious? Like, dude, how many times have you wished somebody would just, you know, that, that you've been pouring your heart into would just talk to you like this? Now it's time for you to pour your heart into somebody like this and a company like this that's ready to pour their heart into um, you and your family. So, hey, guys, I love you. I'm grateful for you. Tommy's my brother. He's killing it in business. I want you guys to understand this. You can be killing it in life. All you got to do is get around the right people, make sure you're plugged into the right company, make sure that you're giving all that effort and all those dreams and that drive to the right place so that there's a payoff because you could be given everything that we've talked about on this podcast, Tommy, all this stuff. You could be like, oh, I'm doing all that, but you're doing it for the wrong company. Just being truthful and you're not going to get the same uh, results and you're not going to get the same, li same lifestyle. So if you have everything that Tommy's talked about, you can give, it's time for you to give it to the right company. If you're ready to do that, make sure you guys click the link below guys, meet Tommy Mello. Where can they find you on uh, Instagram? Uh, official Tommy Mello. You could go. I'm all uh, Are you official on Tommy Mello. everywhere. So official Tommy Mello, Facebook, official Instagram. Tommy Mello, yeah. TikTok. you know, you do a ride along, see if it's right for you. You get to meet some of the technicians. Don't believe me. Like, you could talk to anybody. We've got hundreds and hundreds of technicians that their lives are changed. They're out of credit card debt. They're buying houses. They're becoming great parents. Like, this is what it's all about, for That's real. Yeah. Like, enjoy the ride. When you got done talking to us, you know how many people started working out? They, they, they said they were done. They said they were waiting for New Year's. All this shit. Start today. Apply. Like, just check it out. You deserve more. Yeah. Love you guys. Hey, Tommy Mello. Thank appreciate you. you big dog have a blessed day i hope Thank you found you. a lot of value in this comment below let us know what you think and then obviously reach out to your boy tommy okay in the description box below if you guys want to change your life this is your opportunity until the next time let's kill it
Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.